Dead of winter, what do you do? You go ahead and start the C4, make sure everything's running copacetic. That's what you do. Greetings one and all, it's I, the Family Car Guy. I'm coming to you from my 1996 black Corvette C4 LT4 coupe, which may as well be a convertible right now because it still sadly has no roof. If you have not seen my Target Top Tragedy video, you would know what I'm talking about. So if you have not seen that, I'll put a link in the video and or I'll put a link down below and you can go ahead and watch that real quick. I will wait. Anyway, for the rest of you, uh, I just wanted to quick make a video about just kind of what's been going on with me. Now, I will say that it has been a very, 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 very incredibly busy time in my family right now and in my life in terms of just having responsibilities of having young kids, in terms of having um, big projects at work. I work in IT. Um, and then obviously the holidays. Um, and so I, I want to apologize to the community because I do personally, I don't like when people kind of just disappear or they are very, very sporadic in, in the in the content that they share. So that's a personal thing that I that I would like to see myself do better at. And that's my goal. And, my, and you got to be a little bit more planful when you're the family car guy and you got a legit family with young kids and, and the whole nine. So that being said, I am very, very excited about the future. Very, very excited about 2018. Um, there's going to be a lot of good content coming up on the channel and there is going to be a lot of, a lot more Corvette interactions. Uh, we're going to hopefully be starting some builds this year. Uh, definitely some modifications, no matter what, if they end up in a full blown build or not, we will definitely be doing some mods. We will definitely, uh, there'll definitely be plenty of C4 and, and, and Z06 content. That being said, obviously it's the winter time, so there are some challenges with that as some of my fellow YouTubers who live in uh, colder climates, such as myself, or similar to myself, have, can attest to. Um, but that being said, obviously we still wanna provide content for you guys and, and continue to engage with the community. Uh, quickly, I wanted to shout out um, all my YouTube community members who um, have broken broken milestones. I know like yellow yellow vet 04 you just crossed over 100 subs recently My Corvette life just crossed over a thousand subs So just excited for you guys excited for other people who are starting channels and coming up and and I, I have to say I am Not discouraged by the monetization uh, Situation that we has been very very well documented on many people's channels at this point So I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time talking about it, but um I'm excited. Um, I think that all of us who are small YouTubers, we didn't do it because we figured we'd get rich quick overnight or anything like that or make a ton of money just off of, of YouTube and that would be the sole purpose why we did it. Uh, we did it because we all have a passion for cars. We have a passion for uh, sharing our love for cars with the, with the broader community and that's, that's what fuels us. That's what gets us excited about making these videos and, and putting them up on YouTube to share. So, and I'm no different, you know, obviously with, you know, a busy family and, you know, obviously other responsibilities. Um, that's definitely one of the last reasons uh, that I make a video. Although obviously it is, it's nice to be rewarded in that way. I'm nowhere close to a thousand subs, but uh, that is obviously the goal. But regardless, I love to share my passion with the community and it, there's so many more benefits to it than just trying to achieve a paycheck. I've learned so much from so many different uh, people that I've followed and, and via their experiences, via their advice, via their um, their struggles, their successes, um, and their various perspectives on things. So it's been awesome. And I'm so happy to be a member of this community. And I will definitely um, do my best to continue to be a part of it. My plan is to going forward, share videos on a on a weekly basis as much as I can. Uh, my goal is to, to upload on, on Sunday nights. That seems to be the best time for me. Um, so that's kind of my goal. And so that's kind of where I'm at with that. So hopefully that 
shed some light on where I've been at. Another thing I want to talk about quickly is dreams. I really think that 2018 is the year of dreams for a lot of people, myself included. I just have real big dreams. I've always been a big dreamer, and I just really want to encourage other people in the face of whatever you're dealing with right now. You know, if you're just in just in terms of YouTube, if we're talking about the the new monetization rules, just man, just keep plugging away. Just keep plugging away. Keep keep doing what you do. You know, keep doing it for the love of 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 why you're doing it, and and not just going after that singular focus of just having the trying to get to the monetization numbers. They'll come. You know, I mean, I've you know, there's I know that there's a lot more ways I can improve and even that even despite all that i've been thankful for you know the community members and that i've that i've gotten to be kind of a part of my channel to this point and and just the subscribers that i do have i'm just thankful and i will always be thankful and um go check me out on instagram as well um the family car guy um i post there as well i'm trying to do it fairly frequently um to continue to engage in the community in another way so check me out out there as well so one of my dreams when i was a kid i wanted to be a race car driver that was one of my things amongst everything amongst other things right wanted to be an astronaut wanted to be a firefighter wanted to be the president of the united states wanted to be a big time ceo with a briefcase because that's what i saw my dad do you know like i saw him go to work with a suit and a briefcase every day and and look important right so all I, I wanted to do all these things i had no concept of uh picking a career and time and you know back in the good old days right we didn't have to think about taxes and bills and things like that. But anyway, had the opportunity a couple uh, years back to get visit the legendary Vegas Motor Speedway and drive a couple of exotic cars on the track. Uh, one of them being the Audi R8 V10. I wanted to drive the Porsche 911 GT3, but unfortunately that car was broken. It some, had some issues, so they let me drive a Porsche 911 Turbo. Unfortunately, that video didn't really turn out. So I'm going to show you the guy, show you guys right now the uh, Audi R8 v10 lap and you'll see uh, my driving was pretty awful i was pretty timid uh but it's fun nevertheless to be driving in that kind of a car and have an instructor with you and so without further ado uh here we go Yeah. 
sorry. I'm anticipating it. Sorry, I'm back in the gas. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> sorry. It's all good. Nice and tight. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go. So you'll see that was a video of me driving on the racetrack. As you can see, one of my, I'm not that great of a driver, um, you know. So one of my things is I want to, one of my goals this year is really to be a better driver um, in terms of, of racing. One of the ways that I try to do that is to hit the go-kart track. And I'm telling you guys, like, there's articles I read out there that totally, totally capture me and my friend's competitiveness, you know, like go-karting. There's articles I was reading the other day on Jalopnik go-karting like when it's you and your friends and they all you know they all have a you know they're all car guys it's like it's serious it's it's life and death in there you know it's like it everyone takes it personally everyone's comparing lap times everyone's you know all the rules it's like you barely follow them you're knocking each other into the walls you're doing all kinds of stuff so you know i do have you know some gopros and, and things like that now so i've got some more cameras that i can do some different things with so Hopefully in the future, I'll be able to kind of share those experiences with you guys. But yeah, it's it's super, super competitive and it's really, really fun. But it's also a way to to kind of hone your your driving skills in terms of how you enter and exit corners, when to get on the brakes, when to get on the gas, things like that, how to carry the momentum of the cart through um, through the course. And so, you know, hopefully that will be able to translate to when I get on the actual track and and you know the next time I do that, so I'm really looking forward to that. So I'm excited about that, um, and just getting better at that. So hopefully, um, you guys stay tuned. Um, I appreciate you guys' viewership. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Even though I'm, uh, I'm still a very tiny channel, I'm thankful for every single subscriber and every single view. So thank you guys so much. You guys have a blessed day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.